hey divas welcome back to the channel today i want to show you how i got ready for this interview that was on zoom a zoom interview is new to me so i wanted my makeup to be neutral not too glam but you can tell i put a little bit of work in so if you're interested in seeing how i achieve this look and to go with this outfit stay tuned to the channel and if you like this type of content go ahead hit that subscribe button plus that bell notification so you never miss an upload first thing we're going to do is use this equates naturally beaming daily moisturizer i've been using it for about a year this exact same bottle i love it i'm going to use two primers this true complexion by black radiance and smashbox photo finish it's their sample size and I'm going to apply all of these products and then I'm going to move on to color correct and I'm going to use LA Girls the color orange concealer alrighty you guys my eyebrows need to be Clinked up and trimmed and groomed. And that's something I would have done today. But since I can't find my tweezers, I'm just kind of like out of luck. So I don't want the brows to be looking too crazy, too unkept. But I definitely want them to be defined. Gonna get some concealer on these real quick. The brow pencil I'm using is by Morphe. It is their micro brow pencil in the color Java. The concealer is by the brand Pro Touch. It's their full cover concealer in the color Mocha. I bought this from my local beauty supply store. I'm gonna blend it out and then I'm going to set the concealer with the Sasha Buttercup. To start off my neutral eye makeup, I'm using this Lime Crime Venus 3 palette. I'm using the color Ecstasy. This was part of my BoxyCharm box. And then I'm going to go into the crease color and use Endless Desire by Violet Voss. It's their I Love You Forever palette. The eyeliner is by Queen Studio. It is their Dragon Duo. This was part of another BoxyCharm subscription box. Check out in the description box if you want to see one of my videos I did talking about some of these products. Divas, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at this divas life for all behind the scenes footage of my YouTube channel. My foundation for today is Sephora's 10 Hour Wear Perfection Foundation in the color Coco. It's the number 55. For my under eye highlighter, I'm using this NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette and I'm going to use this Maybelline's Concealer in the color 
440. It's the color caramel, and I'm gonna blend it on out. For my face powder today, I'm using this Sephora Baked Face Compact. It's their Micro Smooth in the color Deep Ebony. I really like it. It gave me a really nice coverage. And I just needed to complete the set since I already had the foundation. I'm going to set everything with this Tarte Stay Spray. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set Spray and I'm going to blend everything with my Real Techniques Blending Sponge. I'm using this Raspberry by Black Radiance Blush. Really pretty. I thought it went great with the overall face uh, that I was going for. I absolutely love Black Radiance makeup. I am starting my lips off by using my NYX Matte Downtown Beauty. Then I'm going to use this Soft Matte Lip Cream by NYX in the color Beauty Pass. It's one of my favorite berry tones. I wanted a little bit more definition, so I went through with Milani's number 11 Elegant. I just put it on the four inner corners of my lips. Then I went back through with Max Current, which is my favorite lip liner. I'm cleaning up my lips a little bit right here. To get the perfect lip. Alrighty y'all, my lashes are by Kiss. It is their My Lash But Better. It is the No Filters one, day-to-day -day lash. Easy application, very natural. I thought it set this overall look. I absolutely love it. Alrighty you guys, this is the complete look. very neutral colors I think it's perfect for the overall look that I am going for for this interview let me know in the comment section down below if you um, have recently had an interview and if you did how did you prepare yourself how did you prep for your makeup because I think makeup is a huge component of a interview you can be saying a lot just by your outside appearance before you even open your mouth so again let me know in the comment section down below and if you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and uh, i will see y'all next week with a brand new video i'll talk to you then bye